Last time on Dragon Ball Super Yamushi, we saw the conflict on planet Sadala between Yamushi and his friend Kamba, who changed and became an evil Saiyan. The reasons of his change are unknown, but the thing that we know is, is the fact that he wants to destroy the planet and turn every Saiyan on this planet to his side and become an evil like him. Yamushi met with him and at that point we saw that there's still hope for Kamba, hope that he can change once more and become Yamushi's friend again. But that meeting was cut short. A war is upon the Saiyans for their planet, planet Sadala. We saw Yamushi fighting an evil Saiyan and something happened that showed us that an evil Saiyan can become a good Saiyan just like before. And that's where we left. How will the war go about? How will Yamushi save his friend and the whole Saiyan? When does the path that we walk on crumble beneath our feet? When does our choices impact the ones that we love? When does our own existence become a burden on everyone around us? There's always good in the evil, but there's still always evil in the good. No matter how pure-hearted you are, some decisions that you make will have an evil side to them. No matter how pure your intentions were, you're still gonna impact someone backed him in the way that you never wanted to do. Even Yamushi's decisions back on planet Sadala were for the greater good of the Saiyan race. But at the same time, his decisions impacted a lot more. Were the reason that the Saiyans changed, but were also the reason that families were torn apart. If he didn't do anything, a lot more Saiyans wouldn't be born. And a lot more families wouldn't have to carry the weight losing the ones that they love but it was a decision for the bigger picture of the universe and now we're gonna continue his story continue his story on planet Sadala his wish to Shinra and the wish that will hopefully save and change the future of the entire Dragon Ball Super timeline this is Dragon Ball Super Yamushi we continue our story after the fight between Yamushi and the evil Saiyan. Where Yamushi and a bunch of Saiyan are walking, they're going to an important meeting. Tensai has been promoted to a leader, so they should celebrate. Being a leader means that he perfected the Ikari technique, meaning that he can use his Zor form in his best form and become a leader of his own squad. As they're walking, they meet Tensai and another Saiyan. We see who Tensai is, and he looks kinda like Yamcha, I'm not gonna lie, but it appears from his looks that he is indeed one of the strongest. They tell them that they talked about something weird at the bar. Two strange guys want to talk to Yamushi if he understands correctly. Yamushi says, talk to me, but for what? He doesn't know who are those two or why they want to talk to him. Tensai tells him that it's about a crystal ball. From how he puts his hands, it appears that it's about a dragon ball. But what does a dragon ball have to do with the Saiyan? And why is a dragon ball on planet Sadala? The other Saiyan tells him that those guys looked important. They should hurry to them. So they go to the west port where the bar is at. When Yamushi arrives, he says hi to everyone. Somebody wants to see me. At the bar, we see who the guys that want Yamushi are. It's Charlie and two of the Galactic Patrollers. How I'm thinking is, those two want Yamushi for something about the Dragon Ball. And one of those Galactic Patrollers is an Ameki. So that's why it's a Dragon Ball in this issue. Yamushi, when he sees Charlotte, you were looking for me, but not exactly. But they were. They are members of the Galactic Patrol. As we see, the Namekian says, I'm Helix, and I'm making from the Galactic Patrol. And the other one says, I'm Skyla. We're looking for a criminal named Chill. It's too dangerous for both of us. So we asked for help from the best Saiyan in this planet. And we see that the guy named Child is the same guy from before, the one from Frieza's race that they're looking for. Charlotte says that he redirected them to Yamushi. They explain that this Child stole their crystal poles, or how we know them, the dragon poles. So they ask him for help to get them back. It's very important. So Yamushi asks them, what is it for me? Our planet is in danger. I don't have time for that. And he's right. If he's gonna help them, what is he gonna benefit from that? He can just focus on his planet and saving that planet. So what is it for him? The Namekian says, if you help us, I will let you use the Dragon Ball to grant a wish. So he asks, and that can cure people? Yes, it's child's play for Shinran, that kind of wish. So what they offer him is, 
wishes to use Shinran to grant him any wish that he wants. And this is not a bad thing. Yamush needs this wish to save his planet and to save his friend Kamba. So why wouldn't he use it? And it's just a blessing in disguise. If he helps them get the Dragon Ball back, it can also help him save his planet. So this leads to him accepting their offer. So he finally found a solution to heal Kamba. A solution at last. He doesn't just have to fight him. He have a legitimate way to cure his friend. So with that, the Galactic Patrollers say their goodbyes. See you soon then. Yes, thank you again. The Saiyans now are rejoiced. Now it's time to party. Glory to the Saiyans. Glory to our nation. With that, the Saiyans spend the night celebrating. But Yamushi has something on his mind to ask Charlotte. He asks him, where is your brother Ghibli? And Charlotte tells him that he wanted to talk to him about this. I fought Kamba on my last mission. It was fast, just as Kamba was about to attack me. Ghibli came to my rescue. But after that, he lost his mind and attacked my team. And I ran away, coward. So when Ghibli fought Kamba, he also changed. And from what Charlotte says, Ghibli is also strong. So now they have also this Saiyan to fight. Yamushi can understand. He promises that he will arrange that. Which Charlotte replies with, thank you Yamushi. Because he trusts Yamushi this much. And he has faith in him that Yamushi will find a way to cure the Saiyans and save his brother and all of the Saiyan race. And thus the promised day arrives. As all of the Saiyan race is gathered, the king is also there. We see young Vegeta, the father of Prince Vegeta. The king has a serious look on his face because it's the day that the war will begin for planet Sadala. Everyone is asking, where is Yamushi? They didn't see him today. But don't worry guys, he will be here. We see from a door, footsteps could be heard. It's Yamushi. Hurry up and make a good speech. We see him his wife as he goes and stands in front of all the Saiyans race. He shouts and says, listen to me Saiyans, today we will fight to protect our nation. My friend Kampa got sick from a strange disease and contaminated our planet. He fell into madness and the Saiyans he infected. But they can be cured with the Dragon Balls. But for the moment, we must fight against the evil Saiyans. I ask you to help me end this fight. Today is the decisive day for the planet Sadala. Who will define his future? The future of Saiyans. Help me to honor the elders and protect the next generation. He tells them the truth and he tells them exactly what will happen on this day. They're not just fighting for today, they're fighting for their future and the future of the next generation. Yamushi knows the importance of this day and he knows that the cure is with Shinran. The cure is the wish with the Dragon Balls. The wish that will help them save their planet, the Saiyans and the next generation. All of the Saiyans look beside them and they cheer for Yamushi. They will fight beside him and fight for their own freedom and their own planet. Yamushi hopes they will be motivated by this. The king tells them, for those who will not fight, you need to show up on this ship to join the planet land. As we see the ship that is called the Ark, the ship that will lead the Saiyans who can't fight or won't fight to a safe planet. And we see from this that the Saiyans back then cared for their own, not like how they will become in planet. The king trusts his wife with our evacuation. She tells him, do you really intend to take our son to battle? He tells him, no, we'll go with you. He doesn't want him to fight because if something happened to the king, Vegeta will be the one to take over for him. So he wants him to live. Yamushi's wife tells him, did you smell that strange smell around the ship? And he did. It's the same as Cobra and me noticed last time. Well, that can't be good. As the galactic patrollers talked with themselves, the female asked the Namekian, do you think he will show up now? The Namekian replies with, yep. Yamushi launches towards the ground and shouts watch out there's a potential enemy not far from us as he lands near the ship more precisely the Saiyans notice that someone is there what the hell is that it's a monster and on the ship we hear a laugh thank you miserable Saiyans now the ship is mine because I am chill the space pirate I won't hurt you if you let me take over this ship. In surprise, Yamushi says, he's the guy the Galactic Patrol is striking. The Galactic Patrollers are 
ready. So let's chill. He doesn't look strong. Yamashi shouts, guys, be careful. As an explosion happens, the damage is unreal. But it's not chill. He himself doesn't know what the hell is going on. The ship is destroyed. Oh no, it's impossible. From in front of Yamushi, it's the evil Saiyans. It's Kamba and his army. So now the war will begin. The aura of them is showing the aura of the evil Saiyans. There are more than Yamushi expected. As Kamba tells him, Yamushi, the war has begun. I know in this world there are many sorrowful things. As we see Kamba standing in the fire. Why did you make that Kamba? Our friends, why did you kill them? You are a true monster. As we see a crying, fearful Yamushi. That day I failed to protect them. And I've had this nightmare a hundred times in the last few years. But today, I can protect my friends from this monster. Because you're not my old friend Kamba. You are the monster that killed many Saiyans as he powers up and launches towards Kamba. Come here Yamushi, show me your power. Give me back my friend, you monster. As they both go in with an attack. But Kamba links the attack. He became stronger. How did he do it? As Yamushi is launched towards the ground. The other Saiyans are fighting also. And the Galactic Patrols are going against Chill. They want the Dragon Ball back. We even see the king that is fighting them. But he gets distracted and calls for Yamushi as he goes towards him. Kamba tells him, Are you kidding me? You're weak. Too weak for me, Yamushi. As he goes in for an attack, King Sadala blocks it. Get out. I will take care of him, Yamushi. Kamba tells him, Who are you? The king smiles. I am the king, Sadala, the king of all the Saiyans. We see the pride on the king. Kamba stands and says, the king, huh? I would be glad to kill you. Yamushi shouts, king, be careful with his energy. Don't get infected. As Kamba charges key on his hand, but it's different. From its looks, it shows his intent and it shows his evil side. Yamushi asks him, what the hell is that? which Kampa replies with my new powers as he launches the attack towards King Sadala but he dodges the attack and says I told you to move on as he fires a Gallic gun towards Kampa Yamushi gets away and wishes the king good luck I just thought of it we don't have a ship anymore and he's right they don't have a ship to evacuate the Saiyan race they are all trapped on this planet the galactic patrollers are still fighting chill the Namekian tells him, I repeat, give up, chill, but he won't give up. Yamushi calls for the Saiyans, telling them, come on, we will take care of chill. In the fight, chill fires an attack towards the Namekian that cuts his hand. We all know the Namekians, they can regenerate, so that's what Helix does. And it comes as a surprise to Yamushi, it's the first time he sees an Namekian doing this. As the Saiyans gather behind Yamushi, Chell tells him, So you are the Saiyan I saw yesterday, congratulations on breaking the key pole. Yamushi shouts at him and says, Enough! Give us back the crystal pole that you stole from the Galactic Patrol. We need it to stop this war. Chell looks at the Dragon Ball and says, The crystal pole, you want it? take it and he throws it towards Yamushi it's strange he just gave it to him and they're all surprised why did he just give it back to us he says I wanted to sell it but right now I just have to escape from this planet I will see you again Child uses what looks like a solar flare he blinds Yamushi and the others when they open their eyes he already has escaped Yamushi tells them take the dragon ball and summon Shinran as the war is still happening front of him i have to go back there kamba tells the king already exhausted pitiful for the king of the saiyans where is your ikari form the king lost his power but he will keep on fighting because if he stopped how will the others keep on fighting kamba tells him you're useless to me now you represent the blood of the defeated as he fires a giant energy attack towards him you can see the fear in the king's eyes he says i can't die now as the explosion happens, Kamba says one less. Who is next? But from the smoke, we see a Saiyan. It's Yamushi. He tells the king, I will take over. Look at this monster. As Yamushi powers up more, he says, this is the Ikari mode. Second grade. He gives it his all and powers up to his maximum. What do you think, Kamba? As Kamba also powers up. Yes, that's what I expected. Give me a wonderful fight. His power has surpassed that of an Ozaru. But I have something to show too. As Kampa shows seriousness of 
from his eyes. Now this is the fight that will determine the future of the Saiyan race. If Yamushi wins, he will wish for all of the Saiyans to turn back to good. And if he loses, Kamba will decide the future for all of the Saiyan race. This is the fight for not just Yamushi and Kamba. This is the fight for the future, of not just Planet Sadala, but the future for all the universe and this is where we come to the end of the story for now this was dragon ball super yamushi yamushi's wish to shinran one wish to save a planet one wish to decide the future for millions one wish to decide the future for all of the universe and this is the beauty of time one small change in the timeline can have major effects on the future everything happens for a reason and this was the story of the wish that Yamushi wants to make a wish that he thinks will have the effect of the greater good on the Saiyan race but he doesn't know that even in the bad there's still the good and that good can triumph over the evil this is his story the story of Yamushi's wish to Shinran thank you for watching and saying that I will see you on the next one. Bye bye.